My name is Frank Mazzella. I'm the Learning Products Manager for Vision Research. I'm here to present a series of PCC Phantom Camera Control software tutorials intended to show you many of the various features and processes incorporated in PCC. At the end of this Sitting Analysis Part 4 Distance and Angle and Speed Two Points tutorial, you will be able to perform distance, angle, and speed measurements using two points and generate a report file. Distance, angle, and speed measurements using two points measures the distance between two selected points, the angle made by the lines formed by the two selected points with the zero x-axis, the speed which equals the measured distance divided by the time of the second point frame minus the time of the first point frame if the two points are in different frames, and the angular speed which equals the measured angle divided by the time of the second point frame minus the time of the first point frame if the two points are on different frames. Using the PCC 2D analysis tool essentially turns your phantom camera into an extremely effective test instrument. However, you don't need a camera connected to the PCC software to perform measurements on your Cine files. So let's get started. Just as I did in the City Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial, the first thing I need to do is specify the units of measure. The units our measurements are going to report as. For details on defining the units of measure, review the City Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial. I'm going to use the units of measure I used in the previous tutorial. I'm also going to leave the Unique Scale Per Application option disabled. For details on this option, see the Sitting Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements Tutorial. We will cover the remaining other options later in the Sitting Analysis Tutorials. Just as I did in the Reviewing Your First Cine Tutorial, I'm going to open the Cine I want to perform measurements on. For this tutorial, I'm going to use the Toy Jets 2 file. This will allow us to measure the distance between two different positions of one of the jets the angle of its trajectory, its speed, and angular speed. And again, just as I did in the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial, I'm going to apply the Edge High Pass 5x5 Edge Detection algorithm to the Cine images and remove the color saturation to ease the measurement process. I could, if I wanted to, use the Zoom function along with disabling the Smooth Zoom algorithm that is applied to the Cine images to help pinpoint a specified pixel on the tip of the jet that I would use during the measurement process. However, for demonstration purposes I don't need the measurement calculations to be quite that accurate. Remember, each pixel I am off by when I am selecting the tip of the jet during the measurement process will offset the results by two hundredths of an inch for every pixel I am off by. I will, however, select the Zoom Actual Size Toolbar button to zoom the Cine images to their actual size. Now I'll quickly calibrate a measurement scale for this Cine file using the calibrating a scale process covered in the Cine Analysis Part 2 Coordinate Measurements tutorial. Since I'm going to perform distance, angle, and speed measurements using two points. I don't need to set a new origin point like I did when I performed coordinate or distance, angle, and speed measurements when using the origin plus one point measurements. In this tutorial I want to perform these measurements like I did in the Cine Analysis Part 3 distance, angle, and speed origin plus one point tutorial on the first jet. I want to know the distance, angle, and speed the jet has moved from a specific point. Okay. I can now start performing distance and angle and speed two-point measurements. In order to select the type of instant measurement I want to perform, I'll need to enable or check the active option in the instant measurement area. Activating the instant measurement option allows me to select from the pull-down selection list the type of measurement I want to perform. In this case, the distance and angle and speed two-points measurements. This next portion of the tutorial is optional. 
Since I want to generate a report file of the measurements performed, I'll need to click on the dot 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 button to the right of the report file path data entry field. I'll need to navigate to the folder I want the report file to be written into when the open dialog window is displayed. For this report, I'm going to place an open report file into the C colon program files phantom cines tutorial cines folder. I also need to assign a name to the report file, so I'm going to call this report DAS2PT1 for distance, angle, speed, two point test one, and click the OK button. Now I'll need to enter the report file's header information in the Setup for Measurement Report File dialog window. So I'm going to title this report as DAS2PT1. In the Analysis field, I'll enter my name, Frank Mazzella. In the Station field, I'm going to enter Camera 1. In the Camera field, I'll enter the model of the camera that captured the Cine, in this case, the Phantom V12-1. And in the Lens field, information about the lens used to capture the Cine. In this case, a 1-2.8 to Sigma Zoom 24-70mm to millimeter with the f-stop wide open. then click the OK button. Notice, the software displays the path of the open report file in the report file path data field. I'm also going to enable or check the query for comment feature. Just to demonstrate, it, the system is going to prompt me to enter in a piece of information about the measurement every time I take one. This is an optional feature and is not necessary to generate a report file, much like creating a report file. I don't need to do this to take measurements. OK, let's do some measurements. With the Cine Advance to the first image I want to perform measurements on, I need to click on the tip of the first jet. Now I'm going to advance the Cine 50 frames. And readjust the preview panel slider so that the tip of the jet is displayed and click on it. This time I'll enter Jet Advance 50 frames and click the OK button. Notice the software displays the angle in magenta that was calculated based on the two points selected. The software has also calculated the distance the jet has traveled and the speed at which it has moved from its original point, the angle it has traveled, and the angular speed at which it has moved, and reports the results in the results field. I could have advanced or rewound the cine and taken the measurement. The system would have calculated it regardless of the direction I move the Cine. Before we finish, I'm going to reset the image processing techniques back to default and disable the query for comments and instant measurements. We'll take a look at the report file in part 9 of the Cine Analysis Tutorials reviewing the report files. So that's how to perform distance, angle, and speed two-point measurements with the PCC 2D measurement tool.